Welcome back, I'm Rob and this is Drones in the Wild. Today we are once again revisiting Lake Island near Stanwood, Washington to check on the changes that have occurred in the last couple of years. Here you can see what it looked like in 2017. And here is 2018 after the first phase of the project. Now what you see is Lake Island in 2020 after completion of the project. Bear in mind that this imagery is very close to low tide. Lake Island was originally low-lying farmland that was surrounded by dikes to keep the tides from flooding it. It was purchased by the state of Washington and was converted into a wildlife preserve. Due to the crops still growing naturally, it became a stopping point for migratory birds and additionally had a year-round population of northern harriers. However, being a former tidal estuary turned into reclaimed farmland, it had an effect on salmon spawning in the Stillaguamish River. Since structurally it was still reclaimed farmland, a project was started in 2017 to re-engineer it into a back into a tidal marsh. The first phase involved digging some channels to allow tidal water in. At that point, the dike still remained, making the property easily traversable on foot. The second phase involved the digging of yet more channels and finally the removal of the dike structures. As you can see here, even at low tide, the property is largely flooded. High tide would be a water level about four feet higher than what you see in this imagery, which would undoubtedly result in very little ground being visible. At this point, the property will be left to the whims of nature from the Stillaguamish River that feeds it and the saltwater tides to continue reshaping over time, and hopefully it will serve well as an estuarial spawning ground to help salmon species recover in the future.